morning, parents. Just a little sneak peek of what we've been working on in the past two weeks. So these are the chihulis that we used uh, with marshmallows and food coloring to make our glass sculptures. These will be coming home soon to you. And then this past, well, last week, I should say, we were working on <clears throat> snowmen, of course. We read a story called Snowballs about all the different things you can make snowmen out of. These are our snowmen looking up, or snow people looking up. And the kids got to pick out their scarves, what they want them, what wanted them to wear on the front as far as the buttons and the different things on them. They look adorable, so they're all looking up, looking for the snow. And then we are on to the next phase of our bodies today. So we have our clothes and our skin painted on our bodies today. And tomorrow we're gonna to be working on the faces all the different parts on your face and of course adding hair so that will get them all complete <clears throat> excuse me on the outside and then we're going to start working on body parts on the inside learning about our heart and our lungs and some of our bones and our brains which are the important part the computer that runs our system so here they all are lined up and ready to go ready for faces today which we'll be putting on. And then inside, let me just open the door here. Oh, locked, sorry, next door. So inside, we have been working on the letter C. So we're gonna be continuing that today. And these are all the words that we had, C words we had in the me bag last week. And then other words we came up with that started with C. We're still working on that since we missed a few days last week. We're still gonna be doing C for a few more days and then switching over to our next letter. So there's Mr. C with his colossal cap. That was one of our wow words last week. Colossal, as you can see, giant fish, it's colossal. And Mr. C wears a colossal cap. Okay, over here, we've been working on opposites. And so the children are matching opposites words. Here we had fast and slow. They're looking for the pairs. That went with Mr. O, and we were learning about him. Here we're copying uh, pattern blocks. And here are our Chihuly baskets. We're also gonna be sending these home at the end of this week for you. That was our other Chihuly project. These are all the objects that Mr. C brought in his bag last week. This is our sensory bin. The kids are working on some fine motor skills. They are stringing up straws and buttons on these shoelaces. This is our apron with all of our different organs inside. So the kids are taking the organs and matching them to the correct uh, part on the body. All right, and then we have, this is our teddy bear hospital. So for the past two weeks, we've been taking care of the letter people. This is now teddy bear urgent care. So here are our friends waiting to be treated at the hospital and their patient beds. And on the shelves, we have all the things we need to take care of bears, eye charts and weight and height and stethoscopes and shots and reflexes or things to check reflexes and some medicine. So we're taking good care of the bears. We of course have our Legos, which are extremely popular all the time. We love our Legos. We have trains over here. So we're building track and making all kinds of fun little things in trains. And we have our magnetic cubes at uh, our light table. Anything magnetic is very popular there. And as you can see, we'll have our last of our persons, persons, person here uh, painting the last of the bodies. And again, we'll be adding the faces today. So that's all from here. Thanks parents. All right, one last thing to add. So we went ahead and worked on our faces today. So now you can see we look a lot different than we did before. We now have faces and we have hair and we have eyes and we have noses. We have glasses, yay. We have ponytails, we have eyebrows, we have ears, we have uh, breadths in our hair, yep. We have eyelashes, there we go. We have beautiful curls on some of our hair. So you can see now all of our faces have now come to life. This one will get added tomorrow. Nicholas just painted today, so he'll be getting a face tomorrow.
here we go. We have some with nice little smiles. We have some that have really beautiful teeth. They all look a little bit different and they're adorable. And these two, Colin and Arena, will get their faces and hair tomorrow. So that's just a quick update from today.